let's talk about flipping a table on the side, which is a pretty pretty uh, neat capability. And uh, first, let's take a look at some data that is unflipped. All right, we're going to use the following data. Uh, we have a table called our ORD table for orders, with, which has a customer number, a payment method, and a total order price. And we're going to sum up the total order price and group by customer and payment method. Okay, fairly standard, group by clause. All the columns without an aggregate have to be in the group by, we're set. So here's the data we want. However, what we want to do is we want to take this report that normally goes down and we want to flip one of the columns on the side. And I'm going to want to flip the payment method column. Notice for customer number one, there's only one payment method, CA for cash, 280.98. Okay, no problem. But for customer number two, there's a Visa, Visa Gold, Visa Standard, and cash. And what I want to do for customer two is I want to have one row for each customer. Customer one is easy. I can get one row, and I've got just the cash. But for customer two, I want multiple columns. I want a column for Visa Gold that says 30, a column for Visa Standard that says 35.99, and a column for cash that says 19.95. So I'm going to take the payment method and flip that from going down the page to going across. So that's, the, that's our goal here. So how are we going to flip it? So let's take a look. Let's flip the table on the side with the decode just for historical purposes. The case is going to be pretty much the same. I'm, here what I'm going to do is I'm going to decode the payment method. And if it's cash, now I'm not getting a one in summing them. If it's cash, I'm getting the total order price. If it's not cash, the decode says, okay, it's not cash. I don't get the total order price. I don't have an else clause. It's null. And then I'm going to sum up all the values. Well, when you sum up values, the aggregate functions ignore nulls. So aggregate functions ignore nulls. The sum, the average, and so on, throw the nulls away. So therefore, if I decode the payment method, if it's cash, I get total order price. And when I sum it, I just sum all the total order prices for cash. And that gives me, a, and I'm going to use that as a column alias for cash. For each column that I want to go across, I need exactly the same thing. I have sum for payment method equal cash, these are gold, these are standard, and discover. And I'm adding another one which just sums all of them to get the total for this report. Now because, again, I now have aggregates, the golden group by rule says all the columns without the aggregates must be in the group by. The only one without out an aggregate here is Cusno. I group by Cusno. I have flipped my table on the side with a decode. Okay, so that's a pretty pretty neat little trick to flip the table on the side. And this saves you the effort of taking the raw data and it was in a different format and shipping it out to your application somewhere and have the application do the flip on the side and the so-called pivot. It's also called pivot and we'll see a pivot command. So the application could do it if you had an application that did, but we're, we're going to do it here in, in SQL directly. So that's the decode. Of course, we know we can also do it with case. Very simple, and this is the way I would do it. Case when payment method equals CA, then total order price end. There's no else, it's a null, I sum them up, I get the same exact result, which is pretty neat. So now I flip the table on the side, probably going to use case, and I could do it either way, I've done it in the past, but there's another way to flip a table on the side. I can do it here with the, uh, with the uh, search case. I can do it with uh, the decode, with, I could do it with a simple case since I'm checking equality, either one would have worked, but I also have a new functionality which is the pivot functionality.